have moved to jail. These two brothers have tirelessly worked for Jehuti Karu Nepu, but also for the community and uplifting the consciousness of people and working diligently, teaching, expanding, and still growing themselves. They're just interested in it, the work. What do I do next? How can we make this better? That's what good character is about. Just imagine if all of our churches was doing this in the community. We would control all the grocery stores. We would control all the housing. We would control the employment of all of our people. So this is what we're building. So, so people who are new to Jehuti Haru Nepu or the comedic legacy, this is what we're about. We're about building community. Uh, later, you will hear me talk about some of the things that we're doing in Ghana. We're building a whole village in Ghana. We'll be building schools, healing centers, and y'all know we need healing, no matter where we are on the planet. Okay, so we need a, a dynamic healing. I get y'all laughing over there. Okay. <laughs> we encounter 98% of crazy people every day, and I'm constantly telling them people have the right to be crazy. And we can only heal them if they want to be healed. And so Jehuti Haru Nepu, we do spiritual readings, we do all of these type of things, uh, teachings, so that we can help first heal ourselves. We're all in the process of being here. Nobody here has arrived. I'm the high priest. I have not arrived. I'm still constantly growing. In fact, if you talk to somebody who's really deep, they will let you know how little we do know. The more you know, the more you realize how little you know. This universe is so vast and there's so much just to learn here on this planet. It will take Many lifetimes. In fact, a high priest told me one time the reason why our lives are shortened to only 100 years, 150 years, is so that we don't become like the nature. Because imagine if you learned this for a thousand years, what you would be like if it's about character. I want to go back to this. It's about character. No talking about nobody, just build. How can I make this shrine better? How can I make the community better? How can I make the village better? That's what each one has done. And so I'm going to give them just a minute or two just to, to, <laughs> to reflect on their work with us and the work in the community. Uh, Haru Dijet is my senior, and he is our elder member. So. I am honored. I am in good company when I joined the two of you, as well as my fellow brother, Basui. I accept this ank with great appreciation, and I accept it with all of the words that were said during and before the presentation of this ank. I feel the weight of this ank in more ways than one, and I will carry it with due diligence. Thank you. A veggie back off of what Brother Majed said. Uh, I'm extremely honored to be in the company of my three elder senior initiates and um, very appreciative. And I realize that the unk is not a symbol of, or well, this unk that we're receiving is not about a symbol of an accomplishment or some good or great work that we may have done. But it's, it's a symbol, well, I see it as a symbol of the, the more work that is yet to have been done, that is still out there to be achieved and accomplished. And so um, it's, a reminder of, it's a reminder of the standards and the responsibilities that, you know, even though I'm kind of living up to, I must say I am, I am living up to it, but I'll get to that in a minute. But it's, a, it's also a reminder of the, the way we need to revisit and retweak our approaches towards living up to those responsibilities and those standards. And the reason why I say that I am living up to it is because whether you're a carrier of this uncle or not, and, and just kind of to emulate Moot Rita a little bit, she'll always say, Vasily, 
Whether you carry the unk, it doesn't make you spiritual. That's my imitation of Maria. <laughs> but, um, yeah, whether you're a carrier of it or not, by default, just because you're in the legacy, we're in a comedic shrine learning under Seva with the type of discipline that we're under. You're kind of already expected to live up to certain responsibilities and certain standards. So that came even before any... Uh, you know, receiving of the unk. And of course, we know our most important responsibility, not even as a member of the shrine, but just because you realize that you're a divine spiritual being having a divine human experience and you recognize the fact that there are certain laws that should be adhered to that would are designed to help you walk in that divinity. So one of the main responsibilities that Sable always tells us about is that responsibility to be the captain of your own ship and the master of your own destiny. And, you know, I see that as, um, I see that as pretty much, we, we're in a position now, we should, we should never be blindly subscribing to what somebody else says about our historic past, about the achievements of our ancestors, because we're in a position now where we're under a discipline. When we're learning and we're studying the Madhu Netra, we're aspired to teach the Madhu Netra, right? The, the, classical African language in its original tongue. We are in a comedic shrine under the discipline of Impudishi. We subscribe to symptomatic thought over symbolic thought as the primary approach to govern our, the primary philosophy to govern our approach towards studying our history. So with all of that, you know, that, that should kind of tell us that we don't need to be subscribing to somebody else's program. Like we have the discipline right here. You know, we go to the museum trips, we see this. We know the names to the faces. We know how to categorize everybody in their proper spatial perspective. So, you know, that's one of the main responsibilities that I kind of I kind of get out of now being a carrier of the hunk that I know that I have to revisit and, and retweet. I have a lot of more that I a lot more that I want to say, but I'm gonna stop short. And uh Dua Necha, and I want to say Dua to Ampundishi, and Dua to everybody. Can somebody can get a Photoshop here, somebody, uh, just so that we can become the captain of our ship, as you heard uh, Brother Basu. That's the important thing. Jehuti Haru is trying to develop you. What are the skills that you need to be the best presentation of yourself? That's what we do. We're not trying to make you the best in from DC, the best so and so, the best so and so. We don't have some model. We're not trying to make you El Haj, Malik Shabazz, Marcus Garvey, Sojourner Truth. We're trying to present the best you that you can present. So that's what we're doing when we're developing in Jehuti Haru Nehu. So I just wanted you, you hear the name Jehuti Haru Nehu. That's kind of long. You know, everybody's going to shrine of my art, shrine of Anu. Why you got to have four, you know, four? Jehuti <laughs> Haru Nepu. So I just wanted you to understand that's what this is about. Developing yourself to be the best presentation. Like you said, we are divine beings having a divine spiritual experience. I know y'all think it's the other way around. We are divine beings. And let's treat each other with respect.